Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dean's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Fear the Walking Dead video for today. This one is going to be doing the first discussion topic video for this week for Fear the Walking Dead. I'm not sure how many we'll do, but I wanted to at least start for uh, this week with uh, talking about Fear the Walking Dead Episode 10 and this second half so far of Fear the Walking Dead, my opinion, honestly being very enjoyable. Uh, I want to kind of just kind of talk about that. I want to talk about some of your guys' comments you guys left in the review. Um for episode 10 that I posted last night. And by the way, if you haven't seen my review for episode 10 of Fear of the Walking Dead, go, uh, go ahead and check it out. I will uh, I will put the link in the uh, video description. Also, I also posted my predictions video for episode 11, uh, which I will also put the link to in the description below for you guys to uh, check it out, as well as the promo for episode 11, so you guys can also check that out. So, man, really awesome episode. I mean, really awesome episode. And honestly, um... One of those where uh, there's, you know, there's not much to break down or anything, but it's just a really, really good episode. And I'm seeing for, for honestly, the first time in a long time for Fear of the Walking Dead, I'm seeing a lot of people really happy with this episode. So um, I want to enjoy, uh, you know, uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. You guys know that. And honestly, um, Fear of the Walking Dead, the first half, I had my problems with, but um, the second half, at least so far, has been really good. And this is really the uh, the beginning of this uh, this video. It's going to be a bit of a Q and A video. We're going to you know get into a few of your guys' comments and questions you guys left, but. I want to start off with a comment from uh, Cade Woody that he left yesterday, which is, uh, yeah, so fantastic episode. Uh, I must say two episodes into this uh, second half, and it's already ten times better than the first half. So um, I couldn't agree more with Cade. I, I seriously could not agree more. Um the second half of season uh, five is already better than the first half. I mean, um, if you go back and watch my reviews for the, the first half of the season, you'll know that I enjoyed the first three episodes. I, I love the first three episodes. The plane crash, the introduction to Grace, because I thought she was a pretty interesting character, and then when Dwight came in and you know Daniel came back, I love those episodes. Um, Althea missing, Rick movie tie-ins, I love those episodes. But then it really went downhill after episode four. Episode four was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. And then episode five with Althea, I was just like, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> like, I don't want to watch this, you know? Um, you're not going to give us any Rick Grimes movie information. It's like, then I really don't care about your relationship, your, your kind of start of a relationship with Althea, you know? Um, and then I went on to episode six, seven, and this is around the time in the first half of the season where I considered uh, just not reviewing Fear anymore at all and stopping my reviews. And thanks to you guys, um, because really I, the only person, the, the only people I can thank is to you guys, you guys, the the people that watch my videos. Um, you guys are why I'm still reviewing Fear right now. Because honestly, I was going to stop reviewing Fear around episode six, seven ish type time. But I didn't because there were so many people. And honestly, I was surprised. I really was because a lot of people usually hate on fear. But I was really shocked about the amount of people that said, don't stop reviewing Fear of the Walking Dead. Continue your reviews, the reviews for fear. There's not many people that review fear anymore. You know, Dan, you're one of the only channels that review fear. And I am. I'm, I'm one of the only channels that reviews fear now. Um, there are still channels that review fear of the Walking Dead. I'm talking Trev Stan 2, uh, Knock Bro Nation, um, you know, uh, Meg Stanfield does uh, her reactions every week but there's not many people brian archam does his reviews but honestly it there's not many people compared to a few years ago that actually still review fear of the walking dead so it's a smaller community of people that review fear now and it's definitely that's why i was really shocked um because of how much hate the show gets them you guys wanted me to continue to review fear so i i, I continued i was like okay uh we'll, we'll go ahead and i was like let's hope it gets better and i have been utterly impressed with not only the mid-season finale but then episode episode 9 and episode 10. Um, like I said in my review, I'm not asking for crazy war and action every week. I'm not asking for crazy deaths or everything like that because honestly, Fear cannot afford many deaths right now. I don't think it can. Um, I feel like they're going to do one in the finale, maybe even a few, but for right now, I'm just going to say Fear the Walking Dead for me right now honestly episode 9 episode 10 even the mid-season finale really really enjoyed those episodes a lot um 
for sure. So yeah, it's really it's really because of you guys I'm still reviewing Fear, and I the the people I want to thank is you guys because now I'm watching this episode, episode ten. I'm like, man, I'm so happy that everybody convinced me to continue to review Fear because episode ten was so good in my opinion. So hopefully they actually keep this. Um, up for the last six episodes. I really hope they keep up this pace because it's really, really good. Um, and for once, I'm not seeing many haters for fear. So, and that's pretty ironic. Uh, episode, uh, yeah, okay. So, um, East Side uh, Badger episode. Uh, East Side Badger, a really good episode. Uh, uh good to see uh, a different side of Morgan and see him let his guard down. Uh, and then he also mentions how he doesn't like how Morgan doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't like how Morgan doesn't really, you know, want to fight people. He wants to kind of save them or, you know, avoid a fight or this kind of stuff. And that Dwight should have killed um, the one guy from Logan's group. So, uh, for Eastside Badger, yeah, honestly, I mean, Dwight not killing that guy, I mean, it just... Yeah. I kind of like it for once because I like the reference to what Daryl did. Because Daryl was going to kill Dwight and he didn't. He let him go off and, you know, kind of restart almost his, you know, his life. And, um, you know, he's like, find her, you know. Um, and the same thing, you know, honestly, same thing here. Dwight did that to, the, to that guy. We'll have to see if that guy actually, uh, you know, ever returns and, you know, almost, you know, kind of, you know... I, I mean, hopefully Dwight doesn't regret letting that guy go, but honestly, with the way Fear goes, Walking Dead, when, when in Walking Dead, the original Walking Dead, when they let somebody go, it's really like, okay, that person, honestly, because it doesn't happen often. In Walking Dead, they usually kill people, but um, it's, honestly, it's the truth. But in Fear, they like to save people, and in Fear, they like to show how people change, so... I don't know, that one just depends. And in terms of the Morgan thing, um, I don't know about that, you know, because, I mean, yeah, Morgan doesn't want to, you know, fight Logan. He doesn't want to have another fight. He was in All Out War. He saw how bad that got. But Logan, it's like you could probably beat Logan and his people. I mean, he doesn't have that many people. The Fear characters have more people than Logan. Honestly, it's just, I don't know. It's In my opinion, I feel like Morgan should just let the group fight Logan and kill Logan in the end because Morgan in the trailer for the next episode looks like he's trying he almost wants to kill Logan so I don't know we'll have to see but uh, yeah I agree with the uh, Eastside Badger that Morgan needs to kind of realize that maybe you do need to kill people every once in a while and this has been something that Morgan's kind of struggled with for a few years now in The Walking Dead so uh, and then Brian Archon finally uh, for the uh, the last question of or, you know, comments. It's really just me going over some of you guys' uh, comments for the episode. Because, honestly, I'm just impressed with how much, uh, how many people are really happy with the episode. And I, it's honestly, it's awesome to hear. Uh, Brian Armstrong says, uh, the owl thing uh, confused me. Because why wouldn't she be with the main group? And that's the thing, too. That's actually one thing I forgot to mention in the review uh, last night. Is that, why is Morgan saying owl is out there on her own? Because it's like, last time I saw she was with the group. So, I don't know. Um... Is she? I I I I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I think that's something that uh, either is off screen that they didn't show us, or some because that just doesn't make sense, you know. Um, some people say, and I'm I'm I I talked to Brian Archer about this too. It looks like maybe Althea is actually standing with Morgan where uh, the roadblock is with Logan in the promo for the next episode. But why is Althea out there on her own? And no, like, we didn't know that Althea was out there on her own. I thought Althea was with the group. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. But maybe this is stuff that we'll learn more about in the next episode or something like that. Uh, or at least episode 12 or something like that. I don't know. But um, anyway, but for the sake of this video, uh, thank you guys so much for your uh, your comments. Uh, if you guys want me to do another Q&A for Fear of the Walking Dead, maybe tomorrow or the next day, I can do that. But tomorrow is a really special day. Tomorrow is the release of the Walking Dead Season 9 Blu-ray. So I am super excited. Uh, and get ready for a review, guys, uh, tomorrow. Probably the review for the Blu-ray for The Walking Dead Season 9 will be uploaded probably tomorrow, late afternoon, early night or something like that. Because, I, you know, I'm pretty busy tomorrow, but I will definitely get a chance to actually go uh, and, uh, you know, purchase the Blu-ray for The Walking Dead Season 9. Watch all the features and all this kind of stuff. So, uh, if anybody didn't know or you kind of forgot, the Blu-ray for The Walking Dead Season 9 is coming tomorrow. Uh, I know some people are waiting for it on Netflix, while others, you know, have already seen it and they're wanting to get it on Blu-ray. So, um... We'll do an unboxing for the Blu-ray tomorrow, but, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow, uh, before I even do the review for the Blu-ray, if you guys want me tomorrow morning to do another fear video, I can definitely go ahead and do that. So, uh, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Write your comments in the comment section. If you're new here, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my Fear of the Walking Dead videos or Walking Dead videos. And of course, I will catch you guys really soon for another one. Thank you so much for the, the comments, guys, and I'll catch you guys really soon. Peace out.